Hello, my name is Laura Fernandez, and in this project I will show what blind share is. And concretely, I will be concentrated on iterative deepening algorithms. Firstly, I will make a small introduction about search and how to resolve problems with computers. After that, I will explain what blind search and iterative deepening search are and I will show an example of this last one. Finally, a summary will remember us all the important things in this project. CERT is inherent to the problems and methods of artificial intelligence. That is because artificial intelligence problems are intrinsically complex. Efforts to solve problems with computers which humans can routinely solved by employing not cognitive abilities, pattern recognition, perception, and experience invariably must turn to consideration of search. All search methods essentially fall into one of two categories, uniform search, also called blind search, informed search, or heuristic search. The first one means that they have no additional information about the states beyond that provide in the problem definition. All they can do is generate successors and distinguish a goal state from a non-goal state, strategies that know whether one no-goal state is more promising than another are informed search or heuristic search strategies. All search strategies are distinguished by the order in which nodes are expanded. It's important to understand the search space representation because representing the search space is the first step to enable the problem resolution and it's mostly represented through graphs. But what a graph is? It's a finite set of nodes that are connected by arcs. In the picture, we can see arcs, nodes and a loop with red arcs. This one exists where an arc leads back to the original node. Search space is constructed during search. Now I will talk about blind search. Blind search, as I explained before, is a search that has no information about its domain. The only thing that a blind search can do is distinguish a non goal state from a goal state. Consider the following simplified map of Romania. Assume you are currently in Arabs and we want to get to Bucharest. If we produce a third tree, level 1 will have three states, Serin, Sibiu and Timisoara. A blind search will have no preference as to which node it should explore first. But why should we use a blind search when we could use a search with some built-in intelligence? The simple answer is that there may not be any information we can use. We might just be looking for an answer and we won't know we found it until we see it. The blind searches differ in the order in which we span the nodes, but this can have a dramatic effect as to how well the search performs. Now we can see blind search method. Read first search is a simple strategy in which the root node is expanded first. Then all the successors of the root node are expanded next. Then their successors, and so on. In general, all the nodes are expanded at a given depth in the search tree before any nodes at the next level are expanded. Here we can see an example. Uniform cost search expands the nodes N with the lowest path cost. Note that if all step costs are equal, this is identical to breadth first search. This is an example. Death 
first thirds. Always expands the deepest note in the current frets of the third tree. For example, deep limit thirds. Notes at deep L are treated as if they have notes of sexual. Here we see an example. Iterative evening death first search. It's a general strategy, often used in combination with death first search, that finds the best left limit. In this example, we have limit 0, limit 1, limit 2, and limit 3. This project explores this algorithm, so later I will enter more details about it. Finally, bidirectional search. The idea behind bidirectional search is to run two simultaneous searches, one forward from the initial state and the other backward from the goal, stopping when the two searches meet in the middle. For example, it's time to talk about iterative learning search also called iterative deepening depth first search. As I said before, it's a general strategy that finds the best deep limit and it's often used in combination with depth first search. To find the best depth, gradually increasing the limit, first zero, then one, then two, and so on, until a goal is found. This will occur when the depth limit returns deep, the depth of the shallowest goal node. What is the advantage of iterative deepening search over the first? Iterative deepening effectively performs a breath first search in a way that requires much less memory than breath first search does. So, before explaining the advantage of iterative deepening over death first, it's important to understand the difference between breath first and death first search. Death first explores down the tree first, while breath first explores all nodes on the first level, then the second level, then the third level, and so on. Breath first search is ideal in situations where the answer is near the top of the tree, and death first search works well when the gold node is near the bottom of the tree. Death first search has much lower memory requirements. Iterative dimming works by running that first search repeatedly when a growing constraint on how deep to explore the tree. This gives you a search that is effectively read first with the low memory requirements of that first search. Different applications call for different types of search, so there is no one that is always better than any other. Other advantages of this search are In game 3 searching is the earliest searches tend to improve the commonly used heuristic, the responsiveness of the algorithm, because early iterations use small values for that. They execute extremely quickly. In an iterative deep name search, the nodes on the bottom level D are generated once, those on the next to bottom level are generated twice, and so on, up to the children of the root, which are generated d times. So the total number of nodes generated is this one that we can see in the image, which gives a time complexity of b elevated to d. We can compare this to the nodes generated by a bridge first cell. <laughs> Notice that breath first search generates some nodes at depth d plus 1, whereas iterative deepening doesn't. The result is that iterative deepening is actually faster than breath first search, despite the repeated generation of states. Here we see an example. Iterative deepening combines the benefits of depth first and breadth first search. Like breadth first search, 
it's complete when the ground seed factor is finite and optimal when the path cost is a non-decreasing function of the depth of the node. The iterative dimming search algorithm, which repeatedly applies depth limit search with increasing limits, it terminates when a solution is found or if the depth limit search returns failure, meaning that no solution exists. Now I will explain deep limit search function because it's inside iterative deepening search function. This is a recursive implementation. Notice that deep limit search can terminate with two kinds of failure. The standard failure value indicates no solution. The cutoff value indicates no solution within the depth limit. Finally, I will explain an example to understand correctly all the algorithm. Here we have four iterations. In the first one, limit is zero, and we have only the main node of the tree, A. In the second iteration, the limit is one, and we have A, B, C. In the third iteration, the limit is two, and we have A, B, D, E, C, F, and G. In the fourth iteration, the limit is 3, and we have A, B, D, H, I, E, J, K, C, F, L, M, G, and O. In this summary, we can find the most important things of this project. The importance of sex space representation to enable the problem resolution. Blind search is a search that has no information about its domain. The blind search methods. Iterative deep mean depth first search is a general strategy that finds the best depth limit. Iterative deep mean combines the benefits of depth first and breadth first search. Iterative Deepening Death First explores down the tree, and it works well when the goal node is near the bottom of the tree. In game tree searching, is the early search attempt to improve the commonly used heuristic, the responsiveness of the Iterative Deepening Death First, and the total number of nodes generated. If you are interested in finding out more things about this setting, you can have a look to this book, Artificial Intelligence, a Modern Approach, and you will also find many information on these links. Thank you for your attention.